and welcome back this is the paracord weaver and today we will be doing part three of our four-part series on how to make an easy monkey fist and what we're going to do today is go over um, tying our cord here I went ahead and tightened this up a little bit more from the last video and basically what I do and you can do and change this around however you want there's you have an empty slate as it were um, with four strands of cord so you can really do pretty much anything you want from this point <clears throat> but what I like to do is to go ahead and tie a double lanyard knot and we've done this many times so but I'll do it again slow so that you can see it and we're gonna take and just twist it under and then lay it on top so that it looks like this and we're going to pull this up a little bit right there and we'll take this cord and come underneath and then go through our hole okay and we'll watch our twist in our cord and we'll go ahead and pull this up a little bit and you'll see that we're twisted a little bit so we'll put that cord where it belongs there we go then we'll do the same thing on the other side follow it up pull it up a little bit watch our twist need to lay that on the inside there okay and then you have basically a diamond knot at this point point. we'll take these leads the ones we've been working with so far and again we're gonna come underneath and around the outside of this and then we're going to come up the center hole <clears throat> take your other lead go around the other set and come on this side and then go up the center hole the same one we did just like this And then we're going to go ahead and just shape this and kind of pull it a little bit snug there. We'll take the slack out, just follow it around. So it looks like this. And you'll notice we have two strands to hold this on each side. And we can do this with one if you want to do this a little bit different. Uh, it's still very strong. I like to have two. I think it just looks nicer with the little bit bigger uh, monkey fist. <clears throat> so what we want to do is before we pull this knot down tight onto the monkey fist, what we want to do is to go ahead and tighten this up and shape it. And then after we have the knot tight and shaped, then we want to pull it down onto the monkey fist so what we'll start with is we'll just start pulling the slack out and we'll just follow it around like we've always done before and again with paracord you i guess you can't say it enough is you got to go slow and um you have to you can't over tighten it too soon um, you have to take your time and you have to go slow so that you can shape it as you go and then you'll end up with a really good looking piece of um, a really good looking project Oh, 
twist it around a little bit. There it is. Okay, <clears throat> so we'll grab our pliers here. And you see we're, we're not too tight on it yet. And we don't want to be because we want to be able to tighten this knot. So that it's smaller at the bottom before we actually start to singe it up. So let's go ahead and make it a little bit tighter here. And again, I use pliers that have no teeth and I've rounded the edges off with a file so that they're very smooth and they don't snag. Uh, you can use whatever you'd like. Um, people use all kinds of things, hemostats. Uh, some guys are using um, Leatherman's and as long as they work that's no problem. It's the one thing I like about paracord is there really is no right or wrong way to do something. You know if it looks good to you and it's working out and it looks nice from your perspective, then that's the right way to do it. So I, I just give you some of my ideas, the way that I do things. And I change how I do things all the time because I find another way that I like that's better than the way I'm doing it. From my perspective. So again, we're just working this down slow. We're pulling it a little bit tighter every time. We're inching it closer to the ball. You can see where we're getting close. We just want to make sure that we're balanced so that it ends up in the middle. So now we'll just go back and we'll just snug everything up really good because we don't want this loose when we start our next step. So there's what we have and it's a pretty nice looking little double lanyard knot and if you wanted before you tightened it up you could run a little accent color in there and uh, that makes it pop a little bit. Let me see if I have one. Here's one that I did that I just threw one piece of white cord in. And I just followed it around. And just gives it a little bit of bling. Nothing major. So from here, um, you can, again, your, your options are just whatever you want to do. You could do a cobra on this from right here. You could do a uh, round crown sinnet. You could do a four strand round braid. All your cord is in the center so that it just gives you so many options you can do just pretty much anything you want. So normally what I do on mine is I do a four strand round braid and I do it the simple way, um, the way that I learned to do it you know, back in the 70s. And basically we're going up and down and left and right so you have one cord, start from the top you go down, from the down you go up, and then you go left and right. And the most important thing with this is to make sure you do it the same way every time. So if your left one is um, going on the top of the right one, then that's what you need to do on the next time around and then just make sure you're pulling everything tight as you go.
And again, none of this is an exact science, so if it's close, then that's normally good enough for some of these projects. Some things you like to be a little bit closer. So you can see there, we just set it up there. And then what I do here on this particular design is I went ahead and I do another double lanyard knot. And we're just going to split it so that we have one color um, or eat one of each color on each side and we're just going to twist it like we did before lay it on top pick it up come underneath watch your twist make sure it's laying flat okay The reason I do this is because we're building right here, we're getting ready to build the handle. And I like to have a stop so that my hand doesn't slip. So this double lanyard knot will act as that stop for me. And there's a couple of ways I could have done this here. I could have put a terminal knot on the end of this four strand round braid which would have brought the leads closer together but what I wanted to do is with this particular design um, I like to have it without that terminal knot there because what I want to do is I want to pull the four strand round braid I'm going to pull this up inside. I want to pull the four strand round braid up inside of this double lanyard knot so that it ends up way in here so it looks seamless. I'm not saying it is seamless, <laughs> just that it looks that way. <laughs> okay, so we need to get back to our pliers here. And again, we're going to work it slow and we're going to shape it so that it makes sure that it's round. And we're just going to keep working it and working it and working it until we get it the way we want it. And again, don't go too tight too fast. starting to make some headway now. There we go. So you can tell what leads are actually attached to the four strand round braid by looking at the way this knot is right here. You can see how it goes. This one actually goes underneath and is not in line with anything. And then when we finish up, we actually will finish up on the other side, which will be the other two strands. So now I'm going to go ahead and start to pull it tight so that it ends up inside. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Sometimes it's hard to do it while you're on camera because you're trying to keep it in the camera frame. Okay, one last time. And again, we're gonna this will be our last pass through, and we're just tightening it up so that it looks like it's coming right from the inside and it's the transition is very smooth. Looks 
like we got crossed up a little bit inside. That'll be all right. So now we're going to go ahead and tighten this up good. Because those are the... What I'm doing when I tighten these up is I'm trying to take the slack out right here. So I want to make sure that these are all nice and tight. <clears throat> okay. So there we have it there. And then now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and I like to do a round crown senate here which gives you um, some color, some twist, and it uh, gives you something to hang on to. So what I do first is I do a regular crown senate first because I just like to have a nice flat tight work area. So what I'm going to do is just come straight across just like that. We'll take this lead and it's going to go over the long lead and under the closed lead and then the other one goes over the lead that's loose and comes through the loop. Okay, and then we'll just snug it up real quick and go nice and easy. And I just put my thumb on it. Now that's just the way that I do it so that it holds its position. But what I want to show you is that by doing a crown sinnet first, I can pull this down really tight into that. And then now we'll do our round crown sinnet where we cross over. Instead of coming straight, we're going to cross over. And then we're going to do it. And then again, that'll be about four inches in length. So uh, we have videos on these if you um, if you can't see good enough for this, um, you can shoot over to the uh, Crown Senate Round Crown Senate uh, video. So I'm going to go ahead and whip this out real quick and then we'll be back in just a minute okay so we almost have the handle done we have just a few more to go it's just a little bit short I like to make it a little bit wider so again on a round crown senate we're instead of coming straight across like we would on a crown senate we're going to come across Okay, and the same thing on this side. And then we're going to take the lead that's on the side where the, the loop is here, this side, is we're going to go over that and we're going to go underneath of the other one. So we're going to go over the lead that's long and then underneath the other one so that it looks like that. And the same thing with the other side. We're going to go over the long lead and we're going to come through that little loop there. Okay. And then we'll just pull it tight. And these you can make as tight as you'd like. I mean, there's no right or wrong way. Um, I just like to make mine a little bit tighter. And we'll do one more, and then we'll be done with this section, and we'll start the next one. Okay, so again, on a round crown, instead of coming straight, we don't go straight, we go across. We go over the long lead and next to the loop. Okay, so that it looks like that. And then we do the same thing on the other cord. We go over this lead and down through that loop there. Okay, 
And what I'm going to do on this one is because I want, see how these leads are all on the outside. I want these leads in the middle. So I'm going to do a terminal knot here, which will push all these leads into the center. And the way you do that, if you can see that there, is where the lead comes out, you want to come back. So we'll pull that up. So where the lead comes out, we want to come back around here and in through that hole. Okay, and then we'll just kind of pull it down a little bit and then pull the lead a little bit tighter. And then just rotate your piece around and you're going to do the same thing where this lead comes out. You want to go around and then back underneath. Okay, and then rotate around where the lead comes out. You want to come back around and through the hole. Oops, there we go. Sorry about that. There we go. And the last one, we just rotate it around where the lead comes through. We're going to come back up through the hole. And then we will go ahead and pull these snug okay and this we want pretty tight okay on this terminal knot we want this terminal knot pretty tight and we will even tighten it up more in the next section so we'll just take it and just kind of wiggle it around and that'll kind of loosen it up the other piece inside and we'll be able to pull some of the slack out. Okay. Alright, so what we have is this is this is um, our monkey fist with a little bit of whip action, a handle, and a terminal knot. And this is going to conclude part three in part four, I'm going to show you how to attach a clasp to this end and have a clean finish. So, a uh, quick review. Uh, eight wrap monkey fist into a double lanyard knot. Four strand round braid. Double lanyard knot. Round crown sennet into a terminal knot and then we'll go over from here how to attach the clasp in part four. So this is the Paracord Weaver. We hope you enjoyed it. We hope it was informative and easy to follow and we'll see you next time.